A lot of versatility. You know, a guy that can both play inside and outside. Um, you know, being able to create plays for myself and the team as well. What's your best skill on the court? Mine's, uh, you know, being able to attack the basket, uh, you know, for guys my size and, uh, you know, with all the attributes that I bring and uh, the talent that I have, um, me being able to, you know, use my ball handling skills and my quickness to get past uh, other bigger defenders and, you know, finishing the butter room. What skill you need to work on the most? Uh, shooting the ball more consistent. Um, now, really working on everything. You know, I want to be the best basketball player that I can be. So, you know, touch up in every areas of the game and uh, on defense as well. Sorry, lastly, what, uh, why should an NBA team draft you? Sir? Why should an NBA team draft you? Uh, NBA teams should draft me because, you know, I'm a hardworking guy, a guy that's real humble and is going to go in and, you know, do whatever the coach wants me to need, uh, whatever he needs me to do, and I'll go out there and do it. Can you talk a bit of, like, what is your experience been like? Uh, it's been great, you know, being out here with some of the, you know, the top guys in the country. And, uh, you know, we, we got to cherish this moment. You know, it's only going to happen once, us uh, being drafted. So, you know, we, we're out here having a good time, uh, you know, meeting with all the teams, doing interviews, showing them, you know, our character and everything outside uh, on the basketball court. What was the most uh, memorable interview that you had, like, with one of the teams that you just mentioned? Uh, no, i say they, they try to uh, get me with the trick question. That was real funny to me. Um, the trick question with the, um, the pennies, how many pennies in a million dollars? I mean, in a, a, a million dollars. So um, that, that, that's one I remember the most. Are there guys out here that you remember competing against on the college level that you now mm -hmm. see here? How do you feel competing against them now at a higher level? Um, definitely, you know, a lot of guys from the SEC was here, uh, you know, the guys from Kentucky and the guys from Arkansas, you know, for us to compete on the next level, you know, in the NBA, that, that shows a lot of, uh, you know, our talent level, how much, you know, work that we put in throughout the season to get to this point. Anyone in particular you're looking forward to going up against in the NBA? Um, you know, all these guys, everyone out here, you know, uh, it's going to be real great to see you know, how much we improve uh, from now until when we get in the NBA. And uh, you know, I definitely like to play against all of them to see where you know how good they've gotten. Okay. When you're going through this process, is it more excited? Is it anxious? What, what are some of the kind of emotions that you feel just going through? Uh, both excited and anxious. You know, uh, no, I'm anxious about uh, seeing where I'm going to get drafted at, and I'm definitely excited um, to be here. You know, this uh, has been my dream since I was a little, uh, since I started playing basketball. So, you know, both excited and nervous. Pedro, how did you uh, prepare for the interview process? What did you, is there anything you did to kind of get ready or talk to people about what it might be like? Uh, you know, I talked to some of the former uh, LSU players about uh, the interviews and stuff, how it was going to be, and uh, my agent uh, sat down with him and talked with him as well.